Welcome to day six at the Shell Eco Marathon. Today was the beginning of the urban concept category, the category in which the Green Team Twente participates in. We began in the early hours of the day fine tuning and making sure that the H20 was ready for our first competition run. We arrived at the fueling tent close to the cutoff time. However, when we did arrive, we encountered some administrative issues. Every car at the Shell Eco Marathon is equipped with a chip. This chip holds valuable data such as how many laps you've done and whether or not you've passed safety and technical inspections. According to our chip, we hadn't passed safety and technical inspections. This caused quite some delays and when they were finally solved, we rolled the car to the start line. At the start line, a track marshal closed the track and we weren't able to set a time, missing our first opportunity. We complained to race organizers and they agreed it would only be fair if we could begin the second opportunity as one of the first teams. We worked on the car throughout the afternoon until the time finally came to begin our second attempt. We did seven laps of the circuit here at Ahoy before we started realizing that there were some problems. After communicating with the driver, we realized that our top speed was far below what it should be. We decided with the technical team that it was best if we pulled the car off the race circuit and see what the problem was. After further investigations, we still have not figured it out and we will work throughout the night to find a solution before tomorrow's runs. Follow our progress on Facebook, Twitter and the Live Blog on the University of Trento website. If you would like to come visit us on the last day of the Shell Eco Marathon here in Rotterdam, register for free tickets on the Shell Eco Marathon website. Thank you for watching and please check back tomorrow for the final results of the Shell Eco Marathon 2015.